Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at diagnosing this Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 inch. Now what's happening is it's not charging and it's not uh, booting up under power. So you put the power cord in and it's not booting up at all. And the charging light comes on as you can see here and then it doesn't go to that next stage and then it just goes to the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 logo and then it will shut down and then do a spontaneous reboot. Now whether you've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab 1, 2 or 3, 7 inch, 8 inch or 10 inch, any of those types of things, sometimes these relate to either loose cables or whether it'll be um, an issue with the battery and stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at all this stuff and uh, try to diagnose it and replace what we need to replace to get it working again. And as you can see, it's just continually rebooting and shutting down and rebooting and it won't charge either so we've got the power in as you can see here and uh, the actual power cord that goes to the board that from the battery that gives it uh, power uh, is there as you can see I'm just going to quickly show you this now sometimes you want to remove the power cable and then just remove this little connector here on the battery that goes to the board and leave it for 30 seconds and sometimes that will start to then charge but normally uh, it leads to um, the actual battery starting to fail. So what we're going to do is take a look at this battery. The battery looks very puffy and very uh, bloated and sometimes that means it's failing. This is a spudger and this is what I used to get the back of the um, tablet plastics off as you can see. Or you can use an ISSMO or something like this depending on what you want to do. Maybe the uh, plastic one is a good way to go if you're not so familiar with this sort of stuff. Now these are held on by little clips and if you don't know how to remove these you can watch my previous video on uh, the tablet on how to replace the screen and it shows you how to remove the back but you can see these little plastic tabs and you need to get underneath these and lift them up and prise them off. Now it is held down very tightly and it will take a bit of patience okay so don't force it otherwise you will snap the back plastics okay. You can also use guitar picks to help prise this up to help it uh, Put pressure on it to make it pop off uh, around this area here is the camera area you want to make sure that you don't prise too hard around this area because you will damage the camera okay now also we're going to remove the power here right now so we don't get power to the device and then we're going to lift up this little power adapter that goes from the battery to the board so there's no power going to the device now just prise up underneath where the, the actual cables are you can see it there just prise up with a plastic spudger just like so it's pretty straightforward but once you get that off just prise that up now we can remove all the tape for these little ribbons this is just to hold the clips down just pull this tape back you can remove it if you wish and put it back on afterwards um, but we're going to remove this other tape as well there's another big bit of tape on the other side and these three ribbon cables need to be removed and they're held on with these little tiny clips and I'll show you that in a second so let me just pull these back and keep this tape safe now you can see the actual black uh, hold it that holds the ribbon in there you can see you want to lift these up and you go one way so you just want to get your spudger under there some people like to use their nail if they've got a long nail um, spudger is okay you can see it's held in and you just pull that back out there's another one here I'll get a close-up shot here for you just get that underneath and prise it up don't go too mad with it because you will break that off okay and then that will be it so you just pull those up and then the cable should be released just like so you don't have to put a lot of pressure they just hold held down to hold that little ribbon in this tiny little ribbon okay try not to break these now we need to remove all these little tiny screws here I will show you a couple of uh, screws to remove and then I'll speed the process up you can see the battery looks a bit puffy there already in that picture so what we're going to do is get a little screwdriver and remove these now all these parts you can buy on eBay you can buy these little screwdrivers you can buy um, guitar picks and also spudgers and stuff like that on eBay as well and they're only cheap so we're just going to remove this I would advise you to use a better screwdriver than the one I'm using here um, but it's okay so let's speed this up as you can see there I'm just going to lift this battery out now that just prizes up like so and that's out and you can see by looking at the battery it does look puffy 
that normally a sign of it's it's actually blown and it's gone now you can see the uh, maker here and you can put the model number into eBay and you will be able to get that battery now here is a new battery from eBay you can see it's very flat and it's and it's brand new now be careful because there's a lot of uh, clones on eBay as well you don't want to end up with one of those clone versions you want to get the original version and we're just going to slide that into place and then reverse the process so we're just going to put our screws back in and then just once you get the screws back in we can put our ribbon cables back on and hopefully this will resolve the issue so we'll just quickly uh, put these screws in here I'll speed this process up okay so now what we need to do here now is put the uh, ribbon cable in now these slide in you just hold them flat to the uh, battery down just slide them in there's a little tiny line that lets you know that you've pushed it in far enough and then clip that little clip down and then just put the tape back down just like so I'm just going to push this down here for a second I'm not going to put that in just yet just want to put these other ribbon cables in first again try and keep them flat to the battery like so and then try to get it so it just flips underneath there it's a bit tricky sometimes but they do go in pretty easy you can see that little line now that won't push all the way up but just push it as far as it goes and then push that little clip down you can either use your finger or the spudger whatever you feel comfortable with and just do this to the next one as well just make sure that's pushed up and then push that down now if these aren't pushed right in then the screen might not come on and you may have issues but make sure you push them right in now we're just going to push the power connector in be careful you don't bend any pins or anything just push that down and that's pretty much that done now we can add the back on now you may want to test it at this stage if you wish just going to put this bit of tape back as well but you can test it before you put the plastics on I would advise you to do that save you having to take it all off again if it doesn't work and you can see here the ribbons are nice and flat and you can see that little line there where it goes up to so let's put the back on and then fire this baby up and see if it works and then these just clip back on you'll hear it snap into place and then just push this down okay and once we've got that down we'll add a bit of power now it may take a bit of time to come on just to get some power to it but then it should kick straight in and start to charge happy days so that's how you can quickly fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 inch screen and it also works with other Samsung Galaxy tabs as well so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button it really does help me out also hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with computers or you just want to chat or anything like that or got any questions you can head over to my forums the information is on the screen right now and if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then you can also do that as well Okay, so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.